haven't downloaded this PDF yet, I would recommend that you download it. Go to the link in bio. It talks about the top six frequently asked questions when thinking or considering launching a video podcast. So go get your free copy right now. And now we're going to be talking about question number three. So question number three about launching a video podcast from my frequently asked questions is, why should I do both? Why should I do video and audio? And actually I'm going to turn that around for you guys and I'm going to ask you a question, okay? And that question is, why wouldn't you, okay? The fact of the matter is, if you already have a podcast or even if you're considering launching a podcast, which is audio only, my question to you is, you shouldn't be asking, why should you do one or the other? Your question should be, how can I repurpose all this content? How can I reach more audience? And using video podcasts allow you to do exactly that, okay? So let me go into more detail about why using both is beneficial to you. So it really boils down to being the most effective as you can by leveraging the time and effort that you are already investing on the creation of the content for your podcast, but now using an additional vehicle, which is video, to repurpose that content. So let me just hop in here a quick slide so you can see some of those benefits. So let's go through those. Like I said, question number three from my top six frequently asked questions about video podcasting was, why should I do both video and podcast? So the very first thing is, allows you to meet your audience where they are. If you create only audio, which is the podcast piece, you're actually missing the opportunity to be in front of other audiences that like to consume your content by watching it via video, by reading it via post. So by you creating or leveraging the time and effort that you're investing on the creation of your podcast by adding video, you can now use that additional vehicle to repurpose across different platforms. So that's benefit number one. Ben benefit number two is then automatically, just think about this, once you put your content across multiple platforms, then that is allowing you to expand your reach in ways that you wouldn't be able to if you didn't leverage this additional vehicle. So it's very simple. The more vehicles and the more you repurpose your content and the time and effort you're investing, the more, uh, the larger your audience, the reach is going to be. And by default, it's going to help you grow your audience. Now, it also helps you position you as a thought leader. Why? Because if currently you only have a podcast, which is the audio, and you're not getting the exposure that you need and want, then you're not going to be positioned as a thought leader as quickly, as fast as you would like. Okay, so by leveraging both, now people will see, wow, she's in YouTube, she's on Instagram, she's on Facebook, and she's got all this content that is being shared and people are consuming it where they are at. The next thing is um, increases your chances to be found. And how this works is by you creating the podcast, which is the audio, you are automatically allowing yourself to be searchable via SEO. Why? Because people are going to be able to search the topic within Google or, um, yeah, within Google and find you. Now, what is the added benefit of having video? The added benefit is that you're now only not going to be found within Google, but also within YouTube. And YouTube is a platform that continues to grow tremendously day by day. And if you're not having a presence in YouTube, if you're not creating videos on a regular basis, then you're limiting the chances of being searchable, of being found. So strongly recommend um, because of that. Then it allows you to obviously increase sales and create efficiencies by batching your content. So these two, you batch your content. I talked a little bit about that yesterday, just taking one day a month to create all the content and you basically can just batch it all and create it all at once. And then increasing sales is by literally just directing people from your videos, from your podcast, onto your website to a place where they can convert, 
okay? So it could be directing them to a PDF so they can download it. That is a conversion because you're going to be capturing people's email addresses. It could be directing them onto your digital course. That will be a conversion because people will be signing up for it and eventually will become customers because they will want to sign up for your courses. So bottom line, it allows you to duplicate your content without duplicating your effort. So hopefully that answers the question as to why do both video and podcast literally just create a video podcast as opposed to just a regular podcast. So once again, if you haven't downloaded your free copy of Content Canvas, which talks about this edition is specifically about the top six frequently asked questions when considering launching a video podcast, I would recommend go to the link in bio, download it and get your free copy today. Other than that, if you have any questions, feel free to DM me, reach out. I am here available for you to help you in any way I can. I hope to see you soon. Actually, I'll see you tomorrow at 1130 again to cover question number four. See you then, my friends. Bye-bye.